Mohammed El Baradai has been named General Coordinator of the National Salvation Front, a broad coalition of political groups challenging Egypt's draft constitution. And he joins me now from Cairo. Mr. El Baradai, thank you for joining me. Let me ask you first, are you going to contest and go to the referendum or are you calling on the opposition to boycott? Well, Christian, it's good to be with you again. Uh, we are, as you mentioned, in the tremor of the revolution. Uh, we're still trying to see our way through. We, are, we believe that this referendum, you know, coming tw two weeks after the hurried adoption of a sham draft constitution is not really the way to get the country together. So we are continuing to call on Mr. Morsi to rescind his call for the referendum on Saturday. He sh should listen to the at least half of the Egyptian people, postpone the decision on the constitution for a couple of months or so until we get a national consensus. Okay. If he insists to go through, we continue to, vo to, co we continue to vote with our feet on the, uh, on the street, uh, Christian, and either we are going to boycott or vote no, but we, are, we consider the whole legit process illegitimate and we'll do whatever necessary to, to get back to why this revolution was all about, freedom and dignity. But why not, if this is politics and democracy being played out on the street, why not go to the polls and, and vote and see whether the vote makes any difference if you, if you feel strongly that it should be no? I mean, obviously, I ask you this because many people say that the reason the opposition is not going to go to the, to the vote is because they know they won't win. No, I don't think that's true, Christian. I think we might go to the vote. I mean, this is, again... We continue, we have a major demonstration tomorrow. We continue to hoping that Mr. Morsi would rescind his decision, would really come to his senses and co listening to the people. You know, you cannot adopt a constitution, you know, with at least 50% of the Egyptian people completely opposed to a const constitution that defies its basic rights and freedom, that try to have a new dictator in the making. This revolution was not, was not, uh, stage in order to replace one dictator by the other. Mm -hmm. However, we are, we probably would go, we probably will see tomorrow is, is a major day because everybody is, is back in the street. The judiciary, which is now a shutdown, is going to make a decision whether they are going to observe that referendum. As you know, the whole Supreme Court is in circle, the whole media city is in circle. Media people cannot go into to do their job. So the whole environment is not really conducive to any referendum on any constitution or, or any law. It's, it's really a messy situation, Christian. Yeah. It's chaotic. But we, we hope we will continue to find a way to dialogue because we do not want to have to go to a head-on clash as well, the way it looks right now. Well, well that was, that's what I was going to ask you because you keep talking about, you know, the process being in the streets and we're going to call more people out into the streets. To me, that sounds like, you know, a recipe for a head-on head clash. And let me, I want to read you something in this regard. Quote, I call on Morsi to appear on television to address the nation to announce that he's open to national dialogue. Who said that? Dr. El Barada, you said that, and you said it on Wednesday, and the very next day, that's exactly what President Morsi did, went on national television and called for a national dialogue about the Constitution, but you refused to go. You didn't take that outstretched hand. Why not? Well, Christian, it was not really a serious call for a national dialogue. It was but he did what you said, sir. You went out and you said own. it, and he did it. And nobody yeah, sure. turned up. And we are ready for a national dialogue. And we, no, no, we continue to call for national dialogue, but we continue to call for a national dialogue on a level playing field. Postpone the, postpone the referendum, uh, rescind all your draconian measures, which he didn't, by the way. Some of, them, some of it is still remaining. And I'll be talking to him tomorrow, me and, uh, and my colleagues. It is not, I mean, we are not going to, you know, a dialogue on, a, on a, under a democracy sword. We are not going to a dialogue at, at the sort of the Israeli sort of thing, establish settlement and come and split the difference. We want to have an Egypt that's free and dignified. We want to have our freedom and dignity, and there is no compromise. You, you know me, Christian, I'm not for confrontation. I'm, I spent all my life for dialogue, but we are not going to dialogue and compromise on our principles. Well, this... we, we are at a cross in the road. Either we are going a, a, a secular a country 
that is several countries that respect women's right, fr freedom of religion, freedom of expression, uh, children's right, a balance of power, or we are going to have a, a, a new dictatorship with a religious flavor. And obviously that's not the way we would like to accept and we'll never accept. Okay, no. well, l let me ask you, because these are fighting words. We will never accept these are fighting words, particularly if votes have been taken. I mean, I assume you believe that President Morsi was elected freely and fairly in a democratic process. Yes or no? Yeah, we yes. don't contest that, except, except again, he was, no, no, he was elected under very peculiar conditions when the country was completely not ready even for, without a constitution in place and when the, all the liberal parties were not even, were, were two months old. But he was, yeah, he was elected, we're not contesting that. Mm -hmm. But being a freely elected president does not mean that you can elect yourself or make yourself a dictator with a supreme powers, all the power, legislative, uh, league, uh, legislative executive, and uh, neuter the, the, the judiciary. Sure, he is elected, but he is elected in a democratic process, and all we are asking him is to continue the democratic process. It is not one election, one time, you know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's get back to the Constitution, because it seems to be the Constitution is what's worrying you the most, you and the opposition. So, the Constitution and the draft has been Absolutely. out there. The most scholars who look at it, and most independent analysts who look at it, certainly outside the country, certainly here in the West, um, don't believe it's so radically different from what was uh, under President Hosni Mubarak. But, clearly what you're saying is that you just don't trust the Muslim Brotherhood. So what is at the very base, at the very heart of your issue? Because they're saying that they have moderated well, it. It is not. No, it's not moderated. It's a very convoluted document. Christian, as you know, a constitution is a contract. It has to be clear cut. It has to be precise. Uh, we need to make sure that women's rights are guaranteed. It is not. We, may, we need to make sure that freedom of religion or belief is guaranteed, it is not. We need to make sure that freedom of expression is guaranteed, it is not. And the way it is done, you give a supreme power or a veto power for the religious institution to have the final say in the legislative process. Well, that is not really the making of a, a democratic, free, civil state. So it is, on the face of it, it looks fine, uh, but if you really look at it, as many lawyers here, 99% of the lawyer Christian here, the, le le the, the legal community, is completely opposed to that. It, it is not, the, it, it violates ba basic human rights values, universal values. So it is not that we are fighting for the sake of fighting. It's not we, that we are sore los losers. We recognize Mr. Morsi to be the legitimate president of Egypt, while we will never accept, meaning also that we're going to fight through the peaceful means to have a, a constitution that we can all of us live under it and move Egypt in, into a modern, moderate state, talk about science and technology, talk about a ba decent standard of living, and not talking about you know, people going to the streets or you know, in circle, saying that the media is blasphemous. You know, that is not, that's not the kind of Egypt we would like to see. It's, it's a really a, a, a question between whether we're going forward, catching up with the 21st century, or going back to the Dark Ages, if I want, want me to simplify it, Christian. Mm -hmm. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but how do you... I guess what I want to know is how you feel this is going to be resolved, because the vast majority of the votes and the, and the political sort of system is now Islamist. And it's not just the Muslim Brotherhood, it's the even no. more conservative, and it's the, it's the Salafists as well. So, so how, do you, how do you get to a different document? Well, Christian, I think, you know, if you, if you really look now, and a rough estimate, we don't really have very scientific polls here. I think people who are non-Salafis, non-Brotherhood, are at least 70% of the country. And these are the people who are revolting again today, who are very angry, or is very, very apprehensive. And, however, it, it, we are not, we, and if needs be, we probably will go to the, to the polls and make sure that this document will, will not pass. But even if it did pass, because of all the conditions for a fair and free election are not there, we will continue to fight, and that's what I mean. We'll continue to fight through legal process, through peaceful means, and that's why instead of going through this lengthy process, which takes us back 
the economy is falling apart, Christian. We are going to default in six months. I call in Mr. Morsi again to, you know, listen to the people, get into a dialogue. If he decides today to rescind, postpone this referendum for two months and look for a, to sit down together and look for a consensus constitution, we will be able to do that. It's the only way. Okay. You remember, I, this is my thinking in all the different issues. You know, dialogue just, is the only way. Uh, yes, sir. I want to just clarify one thing because we're running out of time now. Did you say you will meet with the president tomorrow? Sure. If we, if he postponed the, the, ah, the but you don't have a meeting until tomorrow. Until we reach a consensus on. No, we don't have a meeting, but we are ready to meet. So it's a bogus to say that we are the one who are spoilers. We need to meet, and we have to meet, and we should meet if we want to get this country moving forward. Dr. Al Baradai, thank you very much for joining me. Pleasure to be with you, Christian.